Alright, what's going on guys? It's Alman. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Cold War video. In today's video, we're going to be going over some challenges that are related to zombies. Specifically, we're going to be talking about one of the battle hardened challenges. So I thought I would make a series of just talking about each and individual of these challenges and separate them into separate videos so you guys can check them out whenever you guys want. So for today's video, we're going to be going over the zombie hunter challenge and give you guys my best tips and tricks to get them. So if you are kind of new to zombies, at least I can do some type of tip, tips and tricks videos for each and separate um, each of these challenges and keep them separate. And we'll do the same thing for dark ops challenges. So because I, I knew I know a lot of people on my live streams are kind of confused on some of these. So that's why I was like, you know what? I might as well do videos on each and individual of these. And same thing with these and same thing with the clear ones. So just so you guys can understand like mostly challenges and you guys can get like more help. But if you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to leave a like on this video. Video, be sure to subscribe remember that 90% of you guys that watch me on a daily basis are not subscribed so if you guys can do me a huge 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 favor subscribe it's free you guys can always unsubscribe later and yeah let's get into this content another note is that I've been live streaming a lot on my channel now so definitely definitely if you guys can just stop by say hi those little things just matter so if you guys can do me a favor just stop by live stream to say hi leave a like on those live streams and uh, you know you guys can chill for a little bit and then dip or you guys can watch the whole live stream all the way through you guys way i always try i've been streaming for like a while now so for the past few days i think i've been straight so i will just keep going and then um i haven't missed a day yet so surprisingly but i will miss a day eventually i do the fact that college is starting soon so i'm gonna get busy with that eventually but just been trying to live stream here and there so now let's get into the actual content so when it comes to challenges uh i see people talk about these and some of these are easy some of these just take time you're gonna actually have to spend time on the game which i mean if you do play zombies on a consistent basis like me let me quickly show you guys my stats right now i mean they're not the best um because i stopped playing for a little bit when it comes to zombie like career leaderboard i'm on global i'm 10k but if we look uh, in depth at it and we search it by um uh, obviously all friends instead of all friends we're gonna look at all players on xbox and we're gonna click all the way up i'm 2400 on the leaderboard so take this with a grain of salt i kind of know what i'm doing and uh, i know what challenges are gonna help you out the best so it's just my opinion on this so obviously when it comes to like all these other stuff criticals and stuff like that i don't you know always go for criticals and you know i've been grinding so i'm somewhere on the leaderboard except the d machine leaderboard because this is based upon the highest round and most of the top people that are on the leaderboard for highest round mainly are hackers so that's the only downside um but obviously if there is some people that actually grind it up there props to you but from what i know most of the people are hacking from in the communities so yeah so for today's zombie challenge video we're gonna be going over battle hard and i would go over career you know it would make sense start from career make your way to dark ops but for today i was like you know what we'll start off with battle hard and then make our way to career because the reason being is there's still a few challenges i've been trying to get on here and i'm trying my best to finish these but i can't find them for some reason and i looked at many many videos because i generally don't know where these are i looked at many videos and i can't find the specific ones that i need so i'm gonna try to do this in my own time and we'll make a video eventually and i'll credit whoever i got um help for so yeah, so that's why I'm not doing the career or the dark ops. Dark ops didn't take me a while because I, have to, I would actually have to make an in-depth tutorial on some of these. So that's why I'm keeping those as separate videos. So when it comes to Zombie Hunter, uh, this challenge was originally glitched when it first first came out. A lot of people didn't have this. Some people did because it, it let them bypass. It was like the one of the. It's, this is like one of the scenarios when I had the season six emblem for uh, Modern Warfare and no one really had it. Only like a certain select amount of people had it, and the challenge was glitched. And so many people are asking me. And that's why so many people watched my video is because I had all of them done and I had the emblem done and everything. So people are questioning it. So. This was like one of those scenarios. Um, I had everything done except the trapper challenge. So the trapper challenge is you have to get 500 enemies or kill 500 enemies with the C4, energy mine, and sentry turn. I'll be completely honest, ignore the sentry turn. It's not gonna help you barely get any kills and you're not gonna be able to do anything. Yes, if you find it off the, you know, if you find it like in Jingle Hells or something like that, I don't even know if Jingle Hells is still going on at the moment, but like if you do, for example, or like if somebody buys it, you know, stuff like that, or you get it from the mystery box, then I mean, all for it, go for it. But if you're actually gonna initially spend salvage on it, don't, it's not worth it. Uh, C4s are better because C4s can last you a really long time. Um, and if you just have a big horde on you, that's an easy, like, I don't know, like 20, 30 kills by itself. Um, energy mine is perfect because like i'm gonna go over here and show you guys um when you guys go to your skills and you and you go to your uh, field upgrades 
Energy Mine is one of the best ones when it comes to like doing that specific challenge because what Energy Mine, when you buff it up, you can have two charges so you can shoot it once and then you have you have another one. So that's what's good about it. Also, it doubles the size and blast when you tear it up, and you can de the mine detonates twice. So if it didn't kill the zombies on the first run, it will blow up again within the same mine. This is within the same use. If that means it's not talking about the same like the double usage. No, it's talking about the first use. It's gonna blow up once, then blow up twice. That's gonna be count as a usage or a charge of the energy mine. So that's why that one's gonna be better in my opinion. Plus, you don't have to worry about C4s. I mean, you can run C4s as well, but uh, maybe that's like my best opinion. Run C4s, run energy mines. That's gonna help out a crap ton towards that challenge because you'll be able to run it and get that those challenges done. But honestly, don't use the sentry turret. It's not gonna help you at all. If I'm gonna be honest, it will not. Uh, then we have the next one, which is Signature Slayer. Some of these columns are, do look good, but I wish they were animated. But obviously, the Under Challenge itself is animated. Kill 100 enemies with the Wonder Weapon. So, this doesn't say specifically the um, Ray Gun. That doesn't mean you have to pack a punch. That doesn't mean you have to get the Ray Gun from, you know, the Trials or just getting from the Crystals randomly or uh, just from the Mystery Box or even the Confidence Easter Egg. That doesn't mean you have to use a ray gun. You can use a DIE and you can get a guaranteed DIE every game. So what you guys have to do is just do the steps that you guys have to do to build it. And if you guys don't know how to build it, there's there's plenty of videos out there. I don't want to like waste like like three, three, three minutes of just telling me telling you guys how to build it. There's plenty of videos on on YouTube how to build it. That counts towards your Wonder Weapon kills. You don't have to use a ray gun just because a picture has a ray gun. Don't get it twisted. You can use a DIE. You'll finish the challenge like nothing. And a thousand kills is nothing because a DIE can last you a really long time, especially if you upgrade it and you're gonna do the boss fight. Um, what you can do, what I would do, is um, get to a boss fight like on a low, low round, and maybe get a couple friends, but ignore all the zombies on the boss or you know Or Orloff. Ignore all those and just keep getting kills, and you can stay in there for like how long you want because you just need to protect Orloff, and the zombies are gonna be infinitely spawning, so you just keep that, keep using that to your like basis. So that's what I would do. Um, next challenge is big game kill 50 elite zombies this is one of those challenges you can't really I wouldn't you can't really like do it quickly it happens over time this is one of those challenges uh, the only way you can I mean excel this is if you're in a group of friends or like you know you have more people in your lobby because if you know if you don't know how it works the more people in your lobby the more zombies spawn the more elites spawn so if you are with a couple of friends more elites are going to be spawning and you'll be easily finishing this challenge but you have to make sure you kill the elites including the split split megatons you have to kill those too it's not just kill the first part oh uh, no nah, you have to kill all of them so just remember that as a note do that you'll be able to finish that and if your friends are cool with it go for it and it's also good towards your challenges as well because if you are going for dark ether you're gonna need elite kills anyway so this just happens over time as well so like i said you guys will finish this then we have demolishes or dem demolitionist my bad um earn 100 multi kills with equipment frags semtex molotov c4 and some of mine use c4 i'll be honest use c4s don't use molotovs don't use semtex don't use frag use c4s or symbol mines that's gonna be my straightforward answer reason why i'm saying c4s Think about the challenge that we talked about earlier, the Trapper Challenge. C4 is going to count towards both, and you'll be able to finish it. So, that's that's my straightforward answer. No BS, just C4 or Symbol Monkey. Symbol Monkey just happen over time. You'll get those, but frags are useless, semtex are useless. Molotovs are kind of good, but you have to keep bringing zombies over there in the Molotov. That's why I don't like it. So, that's Demolitionist. Then we have Clever Ruse. Kill 100 distracted enemies. So, if you guys can tell by the picture, Monkey is something that can distract the enemies. It does last a little bit longer than a decoy, and that's the reason because it's a thousand salary, so it should last longer, but it takes a lot, a little bit of time to wind it up. So how I would take this challenge is buy a bunch of decoys because that's more better because what you can do is you can run Bring a Fire, you can run Energy Mine, you can run something. So think about the challenges earlier. What you can do is pair C4s with this. So get decoys, throw a decoy down when all the zombies are like piled up, immediately throw a C4, there you go. You'll kill distracted enemies, you'll get C4 kills for your trapper challenges, and you'll get C4 kills for your demolition challenges. There you go, you're doing more challenges at once, and you'll be able to do this more quicker, more efficient, more better. That's my opinion, pretty straightforward answer. You could use monkeys, but at the same time, I mean, 1000 salvage versus 250 salvage for 5 decoys, that's, or I mean 4 decoys, that's way better, because you can just decoy C4, decoy C4, and if you don't have C4, it's energy mine, simple as that. So, that's just my opinion. Then we have the last challenge, which is Superior Ordnance. Kill 30 enemies with a single support. Sentry Gun does not count. So, my opinion is 
this one just happens over time or not over time i mean you can finish this instantly use a chopper gunner use a chopper gunner during like a high level exfil like around 30 or something like that or exfil like around 31 or exfil around 36 that's when you're gonna see a large wave of zombies when you get a big horde of zombies throw a decoy or something down if you have a friend they'll be this would be perfect they can keep spamming decoys keep spamming decoys call in a chopper gunner boom there's a 30 kills so you're just in the entire wave will just be gone be, and you'd have to do it within that chopper gunner if you don't do it within that chopper gunner it does not count as a single support so single support you mean you can do it that way or getting a grenade launcher and just doing it that way uh what's it called the crossbow isn't really gonna help you um uh, the hellstorm can kind of do this but it's kind of hard getting 30 enemies specifically on there uh that's why i recommend chopper gunner it's way more better and it lasts longer so i think that's better so that's it those are all the challenges for the career challenge for zombie hunter um i will be doing more videos talking about the ele um, elementalist and then the tactician and then i'm not going to do silverback and gorilla strike because this is more zombies related these challenges the only reason i don't have them done they're dead ops arcade i don't play dead ops arcade so that's why i'm not doing these specific challenges um but i will be doing these because they're all zombie challenges and when it comes to dark ops the only challenge i'm missing is the 1 million kill so that's why i'm not doing these other two challenges because these other two challenges right here are related to dead ops arcade so that's why i'm not going to be finishing those i will be finishing the 1 million kill as fast as i can i don't know it's kind of hard for me because i'm already like at uh 270k kills i believe something like that and i have to get to 1 million so it's gonna take me a while but i will keep trying to grind as much as i can and uh, yeah and then obviously this last challenge is uh, whenever you finish 10 Dark Ops challenges, you automatically unlock this. So my, that's that's when I'm going to unlock this because that's the only one I want to do, which is a 1 million kill. Don't want to go to, don't want to venture into uh, Dead Ops Arcade and start doing those challenges. So that's why. But pretty straightforward video. Try to get my point across and I hope you guys enjoyed. So be sure to leave a like on this video. Be sure to subscribe. It does help out the channel a lot. And we're really close from hitting monetization. So appreciate all you guys that have been watching my videos. Coming out to my lives. Uh, supporting me just by watching the live. And uh, leaving likes on those live streams as well. Because it does help towards my monetization. A crap ton. And you know. I've been grinding for a lot of time. So I appreciate all the people that respect me. And everything like that. And uh, respect the grind. So yeah. So leave a like. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. So you guys aren't missing out on the live streams. Missing out on any videos. And all that type of stuff. So. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.